Welcome, everyone. Today, I want to spend some time answering this question that I get so often. How do you get published in National Geographic? Oh my God, the number of times I've heard this question, everybody wants to know that. When people come across me or my work uh, and they send me DMs on Instagram or other platforms, this is the number one questions that I always get. How do you work with National Geographic? How do you get published in National Geographic? So today I want to take some time to, um, uh, to cover that. And of course, it's understandable, right? It's so understandable that uh, we want to know that because National Geographic is a huge brand. If you, if, you, if you love travel, if you love stories, if you love storytelling, chances are you probably had National Geographic uh, uh, magazine when you were little. Uh, you probably read it a lot growing up. And it's probably one of your dreams to be working with that publication, to see your stories in the pages of their magazine or in their uh, website because they have websites as well. And it's very understandable that this is the question that everybody always asks me. So today I'm going to share with you three steps to getting published in National Geographic. Three very important steps. So listen on. Step number one, to get into National Geographic, you need to build your portfolio you need to build your portfolio. It's really, really important that when we reach out to National Geographic and we want to work with them, that we have a portfolio of work that the editors can look at to evaluate if uh, there is potential for us to work together or not. And that is actually the question that people need to be asking me, not how do you get published in National Geographic, but how do you develop a portfolio of work that they can then take to National Geographic, right? And in order to build your portfolio of work, what do we need to do? We need to start writing, we need to start pitching other magazines, and we need to start creating stories and knowing what kind of stories we want to, to, we want to do. When I say creating stories, I mean that this is for both writers and photographers who are interested in working with National Geographic, right? Whether you're a writer who needs to start writing more, whether you're a photographer who needs to take more photographic stories, we need to start building our portfolio so that we can then show it to National Geographic. And, you know, everybody wants to know how to work with National Geographic. And I was that person too. When I first started in this career path, uh, my very first pitch was sent to National Geographic, of course. I never heard back from them with that story. Uh, but the good thing is that I, that I didn't let that stop me. I continued going on this path. Um, I continued getting better. I continued building my portfolio. And then when later on I pitched National Geographic again, they said yes that time. And they've, you know, another team of theirs has also approached me to do some work together as well. So that's the most important step. Step number one is you need to start building your portfolio before you approach National Geographic. Now notice that it's not impossible to get into National Geographic without any prior published work. Let me say that again. It's not impossible to get into National Geographic without any prior work. We had a guest on the podcast um, recently who told a story about a National Geographic editor reaching out to her after finding her travel blog online. And at that point, uh, our guest, she wasn't a travel writer yet. She hadn't had any work published in any magazines, but she had her blog and she's been, she's been writing on her blog for years and years before. And so this National Geographic editor was Googling, was looking for people to work with on this particular story. And uh, her, uh, her blog popped up and, you know, the editor reached out to her. She loved uh, what she saw on the blog and that's how uh, our guest got published uh, in National Geographic as her first ever story. So it's not impossible to work with National Geographic if you've never had anything published. The key though here, the key difference is that our guest 
has a blog. She had a blog that 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 attracted actually this editor, right? So she had a body of work that the editor uh, was able to react to and evaluate and to see if that's something that they want to proceed. So that's really, really important. Okay, step number two, you start building your portfolio, you start developing this craft, you start uh, writing on your own blog, you start uh, developing a body of work with your photography. Step number two, you need to have a structured approach. It's very, very important to have a structured approach. I don't recommend that the first ever publication that you reach out to will be National Geographic. So don't follow in my footsteps. Don't do that. And here's why. You need time to get better. You need time to develop the craft. You need time to understand what works and what doesn't work. You need time to know how to pitch and how to pitch well so that your chances of getting acceptance, accepted are, are higher. And how do you do that? Well, very easy. You, you have a structured approach. So you start small, you start working with perhaps some local publications or smaller publications, start understanding uh, what interests you, what kind of stories you want to do. Again, start building your portfolio. Then move to uh, bigger publications. Start building your portfolio even more. And then, only then, reach out to National Geographic. Show them the body of work that you have. Show them that you have an understanding of how this industry works, of how um, pitching works, of how, of what kind of stories you want to do as a creator, right? Because that's how you understand yourself better and your work better, by doing the work. If you're just starting out, maybe it's hard for you to understand what your niche might be, what 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 interests you. You need time to 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 develop all that understanding, and we do that by doing the work. So structured approach. When I say structured approach, what I mean is that be structured in your efforts. Start small, start building your portfolio little by little, and then reach out to National Geographic by all means, by all means, and then finally. Step number three is that you need to have patience. You need to have patience. It's really unreasonable to expect to become a National Geographic contributor or, or, or somebody who works with National Geographic or is published in National Geographic overnight. Even the guest that I, that I shared with you a story of before, it's not like she put one blog post up and then the next day, the editor of National Geographic reached out to her, right? It took her years to develop her blog, to develop her writing, to, to hone her craft. And then uh, the editor had come across her work and, and found it and, and was interested to, enough to reach out. I didn't become... Uh, I, I didn't start working with National Geographic overnight, and neither did many people I know who are successful in this industry. It takes time. All these things that I just mentioned to, to build your portfolio, to have a structured approach of reaching out to publications, it all takes time. It takes time to get better, to build your relationships in this industry. So it's un you're, you're setting yourself up for failure when you start thinking that overnight you become successful. And the first time you ever do anything in this industry, you reach out to National Geographic. Just that, it's just not how it works. However, if you are committed to this path, if you are consistent with your efforts, if you're putting in the effort, if you're learning, if you're getting better, you will see results. I have no doubt uh, about it. I have absolutely zero doubt about it. It happened to me. It happened to so many people who uh, are in our Travel Media Lab community now. It happened to many people in this industry that I know. This is how it works. It's almost like this is the laws of physics. If you are committed to something, if you put in the effort, if you're consistent with your efforts, if you're structured with your efforts, you will start getting results. And maybe it will not be a story inside National Geographic right away, but you build up to it, right? You get better, you, you continue pitching, you continue learning, you get better, and eventually you will see results. So that's how it works in this industry, just like any other industries, that's how it works. It's unreasonable to, uh, even if you start a business, let's say you start a business, it's unreasonable to, to imagine that you will be successful from day one. 
right? You need time to build. You need time to build. And it's exactly the same thing here. So again, three steps to getting published in National Geographic. Step number one, you need a portfolio. It doesn't need to be a portfolio of work published on other uh, magazines or publications. It can be a portfolio that lives on your own website, but it needs to be something that the editor needs to uh, react to. Step number two, you need to have a structured approach. And I recommend start small, move up, and then eventually pitch National Geographic. Step three, you need to have patience and you need to be consistent, committed uh, uh, to this path. And you need to put in the effort uh, to stay on this path and to develop your craft and to get better. And when you do, when you follow these steps that I've shared with you today, I have, again, I have zero doubt that you will be successful in this industry or in any other industry, to be honest, that you're putting in the effort into. And finally, I want to mention that uh, we have a program coming up called Intro to Travel Journalism. And that program lays out all the foundation of everything that I talked about today and way more because it's a it's a it's a big pro program it has six six modules in it and it lays out the foundation that you need to start taking the actual steps of being in this industry of sending out pitches to national geographic and, and other publications of building your portfolio of developing your own approach and your own understanding of yourself and of how this industry works and I will be holding a free info session about this program on Friday, May 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. So if getting your travel stories published in National Geographic or any other amazing travel publications or other publications is something that you dream about, don't miss this opportunity to come and learn about the program. Visit travelmedialab.com slash info session to register today and to see if this program that uh, is going to run for six months is something that is right for you. And again, that link is travelmedialab.com slash info session. It's, uh, uh, it's linked here as well, so you can, you can check it out. Uh, come see what this uh, program is all about, what I'm teaching. If you liked what I had to say today, uh, chances are you're going to like what I, what I share in this program and uh, what it's all about. So uh, come check it out and don't forget to register at the link uh, that I'll include here as well. So thank you again for, for listening today and um, just be consistent. Keep going with your efforts. This is the most important thing. If there is nothing else that you uh, take out of this video uh, or uh, that you take out of this uh, conversation today, it's that you just really have to be um, consistent with your efforts and keep going. And then you start seeing results. I guarantee you. Thank you so much.